my name is Pauline, uh, my maiden name was Hardy, and uh, Mangle. Yes, my husband was uh, a captain, and his name is Frederick Nicholas Mangle, M-A-N-G-O-L. First on the Cavalier, and those were amphibious ships, and I mean, he, he was just a, you know, a, a member of the crew. And then he went to the Bayfield, when he was a Lieutenant J.G., of course, he was just one, one of the crew. But he liked uh, CIC uh, better than any, any other place. Um, he f found that, you know, he, he just had an instinct for, for that part of the business, whatever it was. I, I, I was thinking, that's communications. He was aboard the Parsons, yes, and, and that was, uh, he, did, he did especially like the, the boss, his boss because he felt that he was uh, reckless in some of the decisions he made and so forth. So he had no patience with people who, who d didn't really um, take it, not take an interest, but really uh, focus on what the job was. And so he had no patience for people like that. Yeah, well, we we would sometimes have dependence cruises, and it would be up a river, just so that that the the dependents could have a feel for being on the ship and so forth. And um, I, you know, like I said, it, it could be calm. I was not good at for cruises. Well, uh, cruises and big ships, I didn't have a problem with. But when we went up, I, I was always seasick. I was seasick on his birthday one time. They were celebrating up up above and here I was in his stateroom, <laughs> sick as anything. Well, sometimes it depended on the ships. Some, some of them were very small and they shared, shared them with a couple of other, um, you know, offices. Uh, uh, they, in, in one stateroom, uh, on, on what ship? I, uh, I think it was one of the last ones. And there were four of them in that stateroom. And, and they had to, they had, they had a private little um, case with a lock, and they had the key to keep valuables. Not that they did distress anybody, but people would come aboard ship and everything. Well, and then you want to, you know, keep if you, if you have anything that's worthwhile. And he used to buy a lot of things for me, jewelry and that sort of thing. So he'd put it in his his little lock box till he got home. And he was gen very generous in that way. I have a lot of nice jewelry. One time when we, uh, when we were in port, and they were showing a movie, and um, I don't know, I, I don't know why I had to go to his stay. I think think I had. A, I used to suffer from migraines, and I think from staring at the at the screen, that a migraine came on. And I wanted to go to his stateroom. I had some medicine there that I would take. It helped a little, not much. If you've ever suffered a migraine, you know. And, and sometimes I would go and lie in his bunk because I was so sick. That happened on his birthday that one time. I was downstairs, down at his bunk, and, the, and his uh, uh, XO came down and said, well, they're celebrating your husband's birthday don't you want to come up? And I said, oh, don't even talk about eating cake or anything. I just wanted to be left alone, suffering with my migraine.